A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Holy Wednesday. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please. Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we celebrate Spy Wednesday, Holy Wednesday, when Judas betrayed his own master to the Jews. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, forgive us for all the times we betrayed you. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, forgive us for the times we betrayed our loved ones. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive us for all the times we betrayed ourselves. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy. Grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Lord, in your greater love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake, I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they give me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad, you who seek God. May your hearts revive, for the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds 
he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. We honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the Spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. From that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man, tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered, and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord? He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi? He answered, you have said so. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, good evening to all the others. Sa taas, sa may ulunan ng jeepney driver, God knows who does not pay. Who does? J-U-D-A-S. Kasi who does ka? Pag umupo ka kasi doon, parang may kontrata na dadalhin ka ng driver doon sa bababaan mo, magbabayad ka sa kanya. Pinagtataksilan mo siya, kung pinaglingkuran ka niya, sinakay ka, tapos bumaba ka na lang na hindi nagbabayad. God knows who does not pay. Kaya ganun din. Sa pagdiriwang natin, ng Holy Wednesday, Spy Wednesday ang tawag noon dahil nga betrayal. Alalahanin natin ang mga ating pinagtaksilan. Pinagtataksilan natin ang Diyos Minahal niya tayo, nilapastangan natin ang kanya mga kautusan. Adultery, pinagtaksilan mo yung iyong kabiyak, 
Tsaka yung iba pa na nag, uh, mga anak mo na umaasa na maging tapat ka. Pinagtataksilan mo rin silang lahat. Ngunit higit sa lahat, ang ibig kong sabihin ngayon ay ang pinagtataksilan mo ay ang iyong sarili. That's why you have to repent and believe in the gospel. Malalim sa alaala anamnesis sa Greek yan ng simbahan yung betrayal ni Judas. Sa consecration, before the consecration, second Eucharistic prayer. Ito yung pinakaluma. May apat na Eucharistic prayer eh. Tapos may anim na special Eucharistic prayer. Yung laging dinadasal ng mga pare ay yung second Eucharistic prayer. Maiksi din kasi. Lagi tayong nagmamadali na lang. Anong sinasabi? Doon sa epeklesis. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving thanks, broke it. Third, Eucharist, Eucharistic prayer before the consecration. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples. Yung pinagdiriwang natin ngayon, yung pagtataksil ni Judas, ang lalim sa kamalayan ng simbahan. Mahigit dalawang libong taon na. So pinagtaksilan ni Judas si Jesus. Pinagtataksilan natin din siya pag nagkasala tayo. Pinagtataksilan din natin yung ibang umaasa sa atin. Nasa gobyerno ka, umaasa yung mga tao na yung perang pinagkaloob sa iyo. Gagamitin mo ng ayos. Tinransfer mo sa sarili mong bank account kasi corrupt ka. God knows who does not pay. Marami kang pinagtataksilan. Babalik po tayo doon sa aking sinabi na ikaw ang hudas sa sarili mo if you are not true to yourself. Sabi ni Laertes to Polonius sa Hamlet ni Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. If you are not true to yourself, kung hindi ka magpakatotoo sa sarili mo, hudas ka sa sarili mo. At yun, pinakamalaking kasalanan. Kasi sinakop mo na lahat eh. Hudas ka sa Diyos, hudas ka sa mga taong nagtitiwala sa iyo. Higit sa lahat, hudas ka sa sarili mo. Ito po, nakabatay sa description ng simbahan kung ano ang tao. Minsan hindi na natin pinag-iisipan ng malalim yan eh. Ano ang tao? Bakit sinasabi ng ating mga ninuno, madali maging tao, mahirap magpakatao. Anong ibig sabihin ng pagpapakatao? Ganito sa transcendental, transcendental philosophy sa theology. A human being is a being that is always already beyond. She becomes herself only if she becomes more than herself. Ang ibig sabihin, nagiging tao ka lang na tunay kung palagian mo, walang pugnat ang paglampas mo sa iyong sarili. Because you are always already beyond. Binabato mo yung sarili. Nangangarap ka. Inaasam-asam mo yung magandang kinabukasan para sa sarili mo. Kailangan lagi mong lampasan ang iyong sarili. Ang ibig sabihin, dapat umuunlad 
ang iyong pagpapakatao. Kung hindi, you are not true to yourself. Hindi ka man nagkapapakatotoo sa iyong sarili. Hudas ka sa sarili mo. Pero, dahil sa ating karupukan, dahil sa kababawan ng ating pag-iisip, eh, hindi natin alam kung ano ang tao. Ayon sa turo ng simbahan. A human being is a being that is always already beyond. Pag nabaksin na ako, napapasyalan ko lahat yan. Yo, binabato na natin kaagad. Ang ating sarili sa kinabukasan, likas na sa atin yan. That is our nature. Kasi meron tayong adhika. Lagi ko nang pinapaliwanag, diwa. Ang tao, suma sa katawang diwa. May substantial unity ang kanyang diwa, mind, consciousness, sa kanyang katawan. Ang diwa, D-I-W-A, damdamin, isip, wika, adhika. Andun yung adhika, malalim sa ating mga ninuno yan. Ang sinunim yan, pithaya, mithi, lunggati, maragsa lahat ang accent niyan. Ang adhika ang nagtutulak sa atin na lampasan ng ating sarili. To go beyond. Self-transcendence ang tawag sa theology na yan. So wala sa yaman mo yan. Kung ang yaman mo nagtutulak lang sa iyo na magiging hudas sa iyong sarili, magiging hudas sa nagtitiwala sa iyo, magiging hudas higit sa lahat sa Panginoon, Walang katuturan. Hungkag lahat yung kayamanan mo, kagandahan mo, dunong mo, kapangyarihan mo. Kasi pananagutan mo sa huling araw ang pagtataksil mo sa iyong sarili na naging hudas ka sa sarili mong pagkatao. Hindi mo nilampasan. Madali maging tao, mahirap magpakatao. At sa kahirapan na yan, dahil sa ating karupukan, dahil sa kababawan ng ating pag-iisip, lagi nating pinagtataksilan ang ating sarili. Minsan hindi pa natin alam kung ano-anong mga dahilan ang ating binibigay. Hindi naman ako mahuhuli kung pupunta kami sa hotel noong aking sekretarya. Hindi, ginagawa naman ng lahat dito sa government office itong pangungoto. Pati si Judas. May theory na si Judas, kasi si Judas, red tagging yan eh. Revolutionary, rebelde, yung mga iskariot. Kasi sinakop sila ng mga Romano, gusto nilang lumaya. Parang tayo, aming adhika, makita kang sakdal, laya. Eh, para lumaya, nagpamadali si Judas, hindi niya naintindihan kung i- ano ibig sabihin ng misaya. Kagaya ng maraming hudyo, ang pagtingin niya sa tagapagligtas na papadala ng Panginoon ay yung maraming hukbo, armado, parang hindiral, parang imperador. Papabain niya ang kanyang mga anghel at sasabihin, lipulin ninyo lahat yung mga Romano para lumaya ang Israel. Nagmamadali si Judas. Kaya raw niya pinagbintangan. Hindi doon sa 30 pieces of silver na sinabi. Gusto niyang pilitin si Hesus. Nagamitin ang kanyang kapangyarihan kapag hinuli na siya. Pag kinulong na siya, biglang sasabog yang kulungan pagkatapos tatamaan ng kidlat mula sa langit ang mga Romano. Ganyan ang kanyang reasoning. Ganyan ang kanyang rationalization na pag pagtataksilan ko si Hesus para mapilitan siya nalipulin na yung mga Romano gamitin ang kanyang kapangyarihan kasi nakita naman ni Judas yung mga patay na bubuhay ni Jesus yung mga kitungin nililinis niya ang dami-daming mga milagro talagang makapangyarihang tao ito kaya siya siguro yung bisiyas na magpapalaya sa Israel nakalimutan niya yung sinabi ni Propeta Isaiah I have not rebelled have not turned back I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks 
to those who plucked my beard, my face, I did not shield from buffets and spit. Suffering, Misaya, yung kay Isaiah, yan yung pagkaunawa ni Jesus sa kanyang sarili. Kaya nung dinuraan siya, natupad ang sinabi ni Isaiah sa Ebed Yahweh, the suffering servant of Yahweh ang Mesiyas. So dahil hindi naunawaan ni Judas, pinagtak sila niya. Dahil hindi rin natin naunawaan sa ating karupukan, sa kadiliman ng ating diwa, sa karupukan ng ating puso, sa kababawan ng ating pag-iisip, pinagtatak sila natin ang Diyos, pinagtatak sila natin ng mga taong umaasa sa atin, higit sa lahat, pinagtatak sila natin ang ating sarili. Dahil pag nagkasala ka, hindi ka nagpapakatao. You do not go beyond. No, walang self-transcendence ang nangyayari sa buhay mo. Iyan e ang dahilan kung bakit narito ka sa mundo. A human being is a being that is always already beyond. He be, she becomes herself only when she becomes more than herself. Magiging ikaw lang. Magiging tunay ka lang na ikaw. Pag lagi mo, palagian mo, walang puknat na nilalampasan mo iyong iyong sarili. Nagiging mas matindi ang iyong kaalaman. Pero higit sa lahat, nagiging mas matibay ang iyong paninindigan. Sa pagpapagkatao, kailangan may pinanghahawakan kang mga pagpapahalaga, values. At yung pagpagkatao ay yung maging tapat ka doon sa values na yon. Huwag mong pagtaksilan yung mga values na yon. At ang values natin, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with your whole being. And the second is like unto it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. That is the highest value for a Christian who accept Christ as Lord and Savior. You do not do that, kudas ka. Kudas ka sa Diyos, pinagtataksilan mo siya. Kudas ka sa sangkatauhan, kudas ka higit sa lahat sa iyong sarili. So alalahanin natin uli yung sinabi sa Hamlet, to thine own self be true. Yan pang nagdasal natin ngayong Spy Wednesday of Holy Week. As we await the glorious majesty of our Lord rising from the dead on Easter Sunday. <clears throat> Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, as we approach Good Friday, with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, His suffering servant. By His wounds, we have been healed. Let our response be, Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those among us who are putting off making their confessions because of pride, fear, or laziness may come to the re realization of the need for God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that they may that God may cover them with his mantle of protection sustain them and give them strength 
as they perform their respective duties and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Lord God, you gave us the example of your Son. Show us how to live and die, to be true to ourselves until, until our hearts cease to be. Grant us the faith we need to follow him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay Mula sa amin, buong puso namin Hihintayin, pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid, alay na ito Ang tinapay na namula sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa iyo Pray my sisters and brothers and my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Forty days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the challenge, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial with death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of 
of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus' words of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus' Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus the divine word, he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> Thou us, Almighty God, with firm conviction that through your Son's death in time to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of eternal life to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. 
We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunzon, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Bernanimitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the divine world. Thanks be to God. Be blessed.